Belly fat forms when your liver contains too much fat, which starts to spill over and wrap around your organs. Visceral fat can cause health problems because it obstructs the function of your organs like your heart, pancreas, intestines, and your gallbladder. The more belly fat you have, the higher the risk of developing high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, circulation problems, and swelling throughout your body. Visceral fat is also biologically active, which releases cytokines that cause inflammation. This damages the cells in your body, making it harder to lose weight in the future. Belly fat is usually caused a high-carb diet, eating too many foods that contain sugar, starch, or fructose. It can also be triggered by inflammatory foods that damage the liver, causing a spill over a fat. At high levels of cortisol, the stress hormone also produces more visceral and subcutaneous fat around the belly. In this video, you'll learn about the worst six foods that cause visceral belly fat so that you can start cutting them out of your diet. I'll also explain how stress causes belly fat and steps you can take to fix it. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only. So do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. 1. Foods high in sodium. If you thought sugar was the biggest culprit keeping you from achieving a flat stomach, I've got some bad news for you along with sugar salt should also be limited to small amounts especially if you suffer from high blood pressure. Not only are high sodium foods harmful to your health, they also make your body retain fluids resulting in a puffy belly. In fact, most people take in around 3400 milligrams of sodium daily. That's more than twice the recommended 1500 milligrams, according to the American Heart Association. So avoid sprinkling your food with salt and thoroughly study the sodium content on food packaging. 2. Trans fats. Some of the most damaging foods that cause a buildup of belly fat are hydrogenated oils like soybean oil, corn, canola, cottonseed, sunflower oils, and margarine. These are often used to cook fast foods, take out meals, and they are in all of the packaged foods found in supermarkets. Just check the labels. Despite being called vegetable oils, they are actually made from highly processed grains involving solvents and chemicals that are toxic to your liver cells. They are also rich in omega-6 fatty acids, which raises inflammation throughout your body, causing a buildup of fat in your liver, which spills over into your belly. Start cooking your own healthy meals at home using cold-pressed healthy oils like avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, and grass-fed butter. 3. Grains and flour Starchy foods like bread, cereals, biscuits, pasta, crackers, pastries, and donuts are all loaded with refined carbohydrates. As they are high on the glycemic index, they quickly turn into sugar, glucose, in your blood. Any extra sugar is then converted into fat and stored in your fat cells and as visceral. Fat beneath your belly. Even whole grains have this effect. Whole grains also contain phytic acid, which can block your body's ability to absorb minerals like zinc, magnesium, and calcium. I recommend following a low-carb plan such as keto, as this helps to lower the blood sugars and burn through your fat stores for energy. 4. Fructose Fructose is a type of sugar found in fruit. It's 50% of table sugar, and it's also a part of a gave nectar and HFCS, high fructose corn syrup. The problem is that your cells do not use fructose as energy, like they would regular glucose. The fructose is directly broken down in your liver. As 80% of packaged foods contain HCS, this overwhelms your liver and causes a buildup of visceral fat, liver damage, and insulin resistance. It actually has the same damaging effect on your liver as alcohol, as it's metabolized the same way. If you start checking labels, you'll find it in soda drinks, fruit juices, jams, syrups, sweets, and all kinds of junk foods. HCS is also made from GMO corn, which is sprayed with chemical herbicides, so it also has harmful chemicals that further damage your liver, which leads to belly fat. You want to avoid these foods and switch to snacks that contain healthy sweeteners and alternatives like erythritol, stevia, and monk fruit. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn all notifications for my latest health and nutrition tips. 5. Soda Drinks – Regular Plus Diet I already mentioned that soda drinks are sweetened with both glucose and fructose, which turn into fat around your stomach. But even the diet drinks cause you to accumulate fat indirectly, as they contain artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose. These synthetic sweeteners can cross the blood-brain barrier, blocking certain neurotransmitters that tell you when you are full. This makes you feel extremely hungry and more likely to snack or purchase more junk foods. 
In fact, the artificial sweeteners have been shown to kill friendly microbes that live in your gut. This causes liver damage, weight gain, depression, and anxiety. Cut out the soda drinks and switch to healthy alternatives. I recommend taking some carbonated water and adding a few mashed berries and a little stevia to make a healthy soda drink without the sugar or the chemicals. 6. Soy Protein Soy protein isolates are some of the worst food additives that you could possibly put into your body. These are highly processed, inexpensive plant proteins that come from GMO soybeans grown with heavy amounts of glyphosate, a dangerous herbicide that is toxic for your liver. Soy protein isolates are used to make protein bars, diet shakes, ready meals, fake vegetarian meat patties, and even some baby milk formulas. Soy is one of the leading causes of hormonal imbalance in both women and men, causing inflammation in the liver and weight gain around the viscera. Avoid these entirely and stick with whole foods proteins like meat, eggs, fish, shellfish, or water lentils. 7. Alcoholic drinks If you drink alcoholic drinks on a regular basis, you are far more likely to develop both visceral and subcutaneous fat. Alcohol puts a very heavy burden on your liver, as it's a solvent. The liver has to break it down into small particles in order to detoxify it. Over time, the strain damages the hepatocytes, liver cells which causes inflammation and lowers your body's ability to metabolize fat and sugar properly. This causes fatty liver disease, and fat starts to build up inside the organ until there is no longer any space, so it starts to spill over to the spaces between the organs, pushing your belly outward. Alcohol also has to be burnt off before the liver can burn other fuels, so if you're drinking alcohol, eating fructose, sugar, grains, it reaches a point where it can no longer process the fuel and starts leaking fluid that makes your belly even bigger, I cites. If you do have a protruding belly, you'll definitely want to clean up your diet, as this massively raises the risk of diabetes, heart attacks, and liver cancer later in life. Finally, getting at least 8 hours of sleep is undoubtedly the best way to manage stress, as your hormones tend to rebalance and reset during REM sleep. Sleeping more also helps to raise glucagon, the hormone that helps you burn more fat. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.